Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be going through the hottest handbag releases from some of the hottest brands right now. Coach, Kate Spade, Tori Birch, and Mark Jacobs. But before we hop into today's hottest handbag releases video, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, coach, Mark Jacobs, Kate Spade, Tori Birch, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me no, you enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Um, what the hell are we gonna do now? So, of the four brands, we are gonna be starting off with Tori Birch. Hitting off strong, they have the brand new Ella Bio Tote for $348 American. The small Ella Bio Tote for $298 American. And then the mini Ella Bio Tote for $228 American. All of these handbags are made with bio-based materials. And what it's saying on the website is... From what I'm gathering, it sounds like it's like a, a vegetable-based leather. So like mushroom leather or like cactus leather, something like that. In the description box of the website, it does say as follow. The outer shell is made from bio Fabrica Biotex TM, which contains 64% USDA certified bio-based content. It is manufactured in Italy and engineered with non-GMO plant protein grown in North America. What does that all mean? Ma'am, I don't know. <laughs> it's sounding like they are making, Tory Burch has partnered with a, uh, like a leather producer that's not real leather. So like when they're saying bio-based leather, they're not talking about like cow leather mixed with uh, vegetable tanning. Not like, no. They're talking about actual vegetable-based leather. So, like, like they said, plant protein grown in North America. I know Hermes plays with cactus leather or mushroom leather, something like that. And I do know that other brands... So, I'm, I'm happy to see some brands starting this out. Um, it does bring down the price point quite a bit. Quite a bit, if you ask me, which is nice. But at the same time, I'm still a leather lover in and out. Um, nothing beats real leather, in my opinion. After the brand new Ella Totes, we got something so sickening. Sailor Moon would be seething. Next up goes to the Mini Fleming Soft Crescent Bag $498 American, so that's going to be like $800, $900 Canadian. That said, this bag is beautiful. I love the style. I really wanted a real nice chunky chain, easy to grab bag that kind of looks like it's just barbaric, if you know what I mean. Like those beautiful Bottega Veneta, like barbaric clutch things you throw over your shoulder it's giving that but in like a beautiful crescent moon and it looks like a really cute edgy fun style and i really love it but after tori birch we move on to kate spade the lovely women of the handbag world <laughs> first up from kate spade goes to something similar to the last bag we just seen Similar, not the same. It goes to the Sam Icon small convertible crossbody bag for $298 American. I love this iteration of the Sam Icon. The Sam Icon line from Kate Spade is so modern, high fashion, edgy, elegant, 
beautiful. I love the Spazzolato used. And this take on it is just... I really like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I... I freaking like it. It is really cute. That is such an easy to grab go purse. You can use that literally anytime you want. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. That thing is adorable. And it comes in like a multitude of colors. So you got some options. It's adorable. And on top of that, they also released the Kate Spade Sam Icon Leather Mini Tote for $200. $48 American. The mini toe. I love to see a smaller size. I really liked the small Sam icon, but seeing it in the mini, mm -hmm, that mini is so cute. That mini is so cute and it comes in all of the same colors as the previous bags and I think it actually comes in others, including Suns Out, which is my favorite of the new ones. But I just, I just love those honey colors for some reason in handbags. Like, they're just so, there's something about that yunny, honey yellow hue in a handbag that just gets me all tickled. I don't know what it is. Now with the powerful women of the American handbag lines done, we are moving on to Marc Jacobs. Now Marc Jacobs has released some really stunning pieces this time around. First up goes to the re-edition quilted leather stand bag for $1,975 Canadian. And then the re-edition quilted leather little stand bag for $1,315 Canadian. The bags do look fairly large and I know quilted bags in general do have a fairly high price markup. No pun intended. <laughs> Stunning bags. I will not be adding one of these to my collection. Man, that price tag is insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, I guess understandable. Like, the, there's a lot going on with the bag. It is fairly large. But even the little one being over a thousand, I'm like, oof. Oof. Mark Jacobs is really coming for the wallets. They are really coming for the wallets with this stand bag. But... Um, it is a re-edition. It's probably a very beloved style, and I can see a lot of people gravitating towards it, if it's in their price range. <laughs> and then after the stamp bags that are stampeding wallets across the world, we're gonna move on to the Quilted Leather J Mark Large Shoulder Bag for $730 Canadian. And then the Quilted Leather J Mark Shoulder Bag Regular, $595 Canadian. As well, lastly, the Quilted Leather J Mark Mini Shoulder Bag for $465 Canadian. All Canadian. And right off the bat, my favorite colors out of all, all, all sizes is the Citronelle. Again, those yellows, those Freaking yellows are catching me every time. What is wrong with me? Why am I so obsessed with these yellows and oranges and handbags? Like, I've just... Especially the yellows. You'd think yellow's my favorite handbag color, or, like, my favorite color, and it's not. Orange is my favorite color. But in a handbag, there's just something about it. There's something about a perfect yellow handbag. I'm not talking about, like, a, like a, a daisy yellow or mustard yellow. I'm talking about, like, a real, like... A, you know, these yellows, the Cetronelle yellow, the honeycomb yellows, the beautiful light yellows. I just don't know. I don't know what is about them in a handbag, but it looks stunning. And what I really love about all of these bags from Marc Jacobs and the J Marks is the quilting. That quilting style is sickening. That is absolutely sickening. And lastly, we have to talk about Coach. I cover coach bags in person a lot, but the one bag I could not find or is not available in Canada is the Jelly Tabby. And I'm going to be very blunt, the price tag of $430 for a jelly plastic is disgusting. I'm sorry. You can literally... I, I just don't understand the thought process behind that. Other than the fact that these bags are made in Italy. 
that is the only thing I can think of that makes these bags so expensive. There's no excuse for a jelly plastic to be $500 plus tax. Or, I mean, tax included, sorry. That, to me, is just insane. I honestly, from a genuine standpoint, as a coach collector, I wanted one of every color. I wanted the green, the blue, or sorry, the light, sorry, the light violet. I'm colorblind. The light violet, the pink, and the gold. I wanted all four. I can't even get one. I can't even justify buying one. And the what makes it worse is these things are just so fucking cute. If you grew up in the Y2K era, early Y2K, as a young kid or even as a teenager, you know jelly anything was just like a vibe. Jelly bracelets, jelly flip-flops, jelly sandals, jelly everything. Jelly, jelly, jelly. This has a nostalgic point for me almost. Not as much as some other people, but for me, there's still a like nostalgia for it. I really enjoy this bag. I just sadly can't justify buying it. I can't. If I had money just to just spend on plastic like that, like I would. I really would. But I can't justify it as my, in my current standpoint, I cannot justify it. And what sucks is that all the rich people are just going to eat this up, right? So I, I'm jealous of all the people that are able to get this. This is a really beautiful bag. The Canadian release is very limited, so I'm not going to be able to get this. Due to the bag being so limited and it being made in Italy and uh it's selling out really fast in Canada. I think if it restocks, I might try to Klarna it. I'm not sure. Someone talk me out of it. <laughs> you can buy a full leather tabby messenger bag for the exact same price. That, to me, makes no sense. You cannot sell a leather product for the same price as a freaking PVC product. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. You can't justify it. But anyways... What was your favorite in today's video? And without further ado, I'm gonna show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. And 99 don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred. 9,000 or 999. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and 99, 99, 99 don't, don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's top picks for the hottest releases and handbags right now. What's your favorite? My favorite, uh, again, probably the Jelly Tabby. I just want it. I just want it. And then the Marc Jacobs one. Yes, mama. The J Mark, sorry. Uh, yes. I'm really disappointed about the Jelly Tabby. Like, I cannot lie to you. What's your favorite from today's video? And without further ado, hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day and or hottest handbag releases video. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.